Hey YouTube, it's Tony. I know it's been a long time since I made a tank update. Um, let's see, it's gonna be a pretty fast walkthrough. Um, there's been a few changes in the tank. I'm gonna start going in here and see. Alright. Um, so I decided to do a um, MP40 on um, this side. Uh, because it less power than the um, the Jabo, uh, it's a lot more actually um, convenient on my end too. So let's see. Um, it's a lot of stuff uh, in this tank. Uh, let's just walk through it real quick. Um, you guys see obviously you guys see the new fishes, um, yellow eye, and I got my. Um, what do you call it? Uh, blue tang and um, all the cool stuff. Um, let's walk through here. Let's see, you got your whole bunch of SPS from here. A um, whole bunch of new SPS. Uh, the cyanobacteria is gone. Um, I won that battle, but now I have another battle to play, which is these uh, flatworm. They are uh, very annoying. The one across, they're not the bad one. They're, these are just the, the one that's for. Um, I guess access uh, nutrients and stuff like that. You you only have too much, they um they pop up. So, anyways, um let's see. Um another problem I have is I don't know what's going on with my LPS. Um I need to check my magnesium. It could be my magnesium or my iodine, but um my um gold hammer is totally not looking pretty good right now. But uh, my candy canes and other stuff are looking fine, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, since we're already here, this SPS is pretty cool. It has like blue polyps, guys. Um, cool stuff. Anyways, uh, let's see. So let's start from the left on over. I always like to start from over here. The other side, you see, I have the J Bow right there. Um, it's doing a fine job. It's on lowest, uh, it's on a setting, you know low setting right now for you guys video so let's took from the top view down um, this is a cetosis next to that you have a blue candy cane blue this is orange candy cane and this is um, neon green kryptonite okay so neon green orange and blue the blue ones are really irritating right now because I keep moving a guy around um, just earlier so my max maximum clam teardrop is just chilling in the sun he's enjoying the uh oh, he just reacted to the camera sorry about that dude um nemo's are having fun uh, you know clowning around just like always um, around the brain um over here is quite a bit of svs um i mean i can't name them all for you guys but i do my best um you remember this guy he was the original uh, orange monty he started about that size look how big he is now um that's the tabling um, this is a purple uh, Slimer, you guys know that. Um, Bird's Nest of Paradise, one of my favorite. Um, green Slimer, Deep Acro, this is a rainbow uh, stylo. Um, and so forth. This is a red planet, I'm sorry. Red planet is down here. He's actually encrusted and everything is pretty cool. Um, this is your uh, green and blue Digita, Mont uh, rainbow, encrusting Monty, um, stuff like that. Um, this one is a uh, blue but purple tipped acro I picked up at a local fish store. It's pretty cool. Um, moving on over, you have your bird's nets, um, just your regular stuff. My red brain. I got rid of most of the brain because um, my sand just keep flying over the place once I got this thing running. Um, so, okay, let's go on. This is a red Monty. Uh, this is a green... Uh, regular Monty with a green polyps okay so just you guys gonna know I have a lot of Monty's I'm gonna have a lot of plates coming out of the tank the overall picture will be a lot of kinda like this guy this is not a SPS this is a LPS it's like yellow cup coral so it's gonna be a lot of plating going around that's the future plan for this tank um, I got a lot of different kind this one um, red, this is your regular standard green. This is a green with red tips. I believe they're called Christmas um, Season green or something like that. I'm not sure of the name, but 
the RBTA decided to go up here and hang out, which is fine with me since we're already here. My mana groves are growing leaves. You know, awesome. This guy's coming out one already. My tree, he's actually kind of needs some watering, but I'll, I'll water him after this video. He's pretty cool, actually. Look at him. He's growing a little bit, too. Awesome. He's growing a lot since the first video, actually. So, this is Nemo hanging out. And remember, guys, this is the top view. Okay? Top view. Um, this right here. It has uh, green with red polyps, pretty awesome. Um, for some reason, this LED in the center doesn't look that cool, but this is pink as always. Look how much it's grown. I started out with five polyps. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Got your regular uh, candy cane and your hammers, and I told you my LPS are not doing really well. And look at all of those cool Carolina algae. No, guys, those are not Carolina algae. Those are flatworm. And I'm trying to figure out what to do. I think I'm gonna siphon every single one of them out and um, just do that because I don't want to put any chemical and I don't want to get a six line rash or any type of rash and risk that clam. So it's one of those options that I'm figuring out. This cup curl has grown a lot, guys. I'm thinking about cutting him and fragging him up because he's pretty cool. Um, so over here, you got your purple Monty. Um, and. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I think I'm missing my green Monty somewhere around here. I have a meat green Monty over here too. It's gonna be a purple and a green plating over here. Um, you guys know that one. This is a pretty uh, green with blue tip. That one's cool. Um, that's a red planet. Um, this one is a yellow, yellow deep water. It's really yellow, like bright yellow. I wish you guys can see the color like I'm seeing, but I can't get see to get it on the camera. Anyways, look at that guy. You guys ever looked at the fish uh, from top down? They are pretty cool looking. Um, over here you got your stylo. Um, yellow coral. He's really grown a lot. Look at him. It's almost... Yeah. So you got your toes too. Uh, that's a red millie right here. Um, so, more SPS, you know. Um, acros and this one over here is really cool this one is one of my favorites so far this one has white uh, white uh, polyps I mean it's supposed to be super rare I was gonna have to get that guy a close-up shot for you guys to see how it looks but anyways um, other than all those pests and a couple minor problems the tank's doing it really well um, I have been neglecting it I'm not gonna lie to you guys um, been extra busy, so you know you gotta uh, balance things out. But um, that's about it. Uh, let's see. You see all the new fishes I have? They're pretty. They're pretty cool now. Make himself at home, I guess. Um, well, the only fish I'm missing now is my uh, purple tang, and uh, I think that's about the only fish I'm missing right now. Um, yeah. So let's see. I'll do an equipment rundown later. Right now, I don't have much time, but as you guys can see, this is the tank, and uh, let's walk away so the fish just won't come out and swim, and you guys can see how cool it looks. I mean, I think uh, I'm pretty much done with the uh, uh, the tank. Uh, maybe just maybe like 10 more species of SPS. I'm just gonna let them grow out, and that's it, guys. Cause I want this tank to be self-sustained and. Uh, um, you know, obviously, I'm gonna show you guys my auto automatic water change system. Yes, it is up and running. I can change the water in about less than three minutes. Okay, guys. So, anyways, so I think that's about it, guys. Well, welcome, new subscribers, and this is Tony, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.